Having issues setting up your Ring Global? Don't worry, we have got you covered. Stick around till the end of this video and follow all the steps that I mentioned to properly configure and get your Ring Global up and running in no time. One of the main criteria for setup that many ignore is whether the Doble has enough power to sustain setup and operations. In fact, this was the very reason why I couldn't set up my Ring Doble the first time I got the device. Batteries in Ring Dobles are never charged to full. So when you first unbox the device, I recommend that you leave the Doble to charge overnight. Although Ring Dobles don't necessarily need to be at 100%, to invoke the setup process, it is still recommended to do the setup once the device is sufficiently charged. Just make sure to charge the doble with a power adapter that matches the required power input of the doble. When it comes to a wired connection, just ensure that the power requirements are again met and there's no wear and tear in the cables that you use. Your Doble needs to connect to the internet to set up and sync with your Ring account. One weird thing that I noticed is that if your Wi-Fi has special characters like a hash or an asterisk, then the Doble simply won't connect. So make sure to change your router password to not have such special characters. Although there's no minimum bandwidth requirement for the operations and setup of your Ring Doble, Ring does recommend at least 2 megabytes per second to optimally function, so make sure that you have that at least satisfied. You can check the status of your network by connecting your phone to the same Wi Fi and run a speed test by simply searching for speed test on Google. Make sure that you connect your phone to your 2.4 GHz Wi Fi network and not the newer 5 or 6 GHz Wi Fi networks. Although some Ring devices support the newer 5 GHz network, I still recommend that you stick to a 2.4 GHz network since it offers better coverage and good enough speeds. If the results are mediocre, your first step should be to pause cycle your internet router before calling in your service provider, of course. In doing so, you get to refresh the router and bleed the system of any static charges that can compromise the network. To power cycle the router, just unplug the power supply from it and plug it back in after a minute or two. If the setup issues still persist, try using a different device to set up your Ring Doble. I have noticed some viewers point out that their device setup worked when they used their secondary device or their friend's phone. This is weird, I know. But it could be an issue with how your home network behaves with the operating system and the security patches of your phone. Don't worry, you will only need the other device during setup and after that, you will be able to use your phone to manage your dope. Just note that you will need to log in with your Ring account on the other device. Also important is to use the same Wi-Fi that you want your doble to stay connected to during setup. If the steps that I mentioned so far didn't seem to work for you, try factory setting a Ring Dope. In performing a factory set, you get to revert all the system settings and configurations to the factory default and remove any existing bugs and errors from the system. To factory set your camera, first carefully unmount the doble from the bracket and locate the reset or setup button towards the back or the side of the doble. Now press and hold the button for about 10 to 20 seconds until the LEDs up front start flashing. Once the LEDs turn off, your doble has been successfully reset. Proceed to set it up like new and see if your issues persist. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a ring doble with setup issues. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting ring content like this.